here now to make sense of all of this, Dr. Michio Kaku, Professor of Theoretical Physics and, we should mention, author of the new book, The God Equation, The Quest for the theory of everything. That is a big subject right there. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us on this. It's fascinating. You say that at one point we thought Venus could be a tropical paradise, but now we know it's our evil twin. Explain. That's right. You know, when children sing starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight, they're actually wishing upon not a star, but the planet Venus, which is the brightest object in the night sky other than the moon. And we once thought that astronauts would use the lush tropical environment of Venus to recharge their batteries and take a vacation. Well, boy, were we wrong. We now realize that the surface temperature of Venus is 900 degrees height. That's hotter than a baker's Ooh. oven. Lead would be molten at that temperature. And when it rains, it rains sulfuric acid. And Ugh. the pressure of the air is 100 times that of the Earth. It would crush you. So an astronaut walking on Venus would first sink into the molten surface, be crushed by the atmosphere, and then burned alive by sulfuric acid rains. So Venus is the least hospitable <laughs> planet in the solar system, sorry to say. Well, wow. other than that, sounds great. But uh, Dr. NASA wants to first measure, take a look at the atmosphere and also map the surface of Venus. Why, why is that important? Well, we have a mystery. Mars, on one hand, is cold. It's a frozen desert, desolate, but maybe a future home for the human race. Venus is closer to the sun, and it is the opposite, with temperatures at blisteringly hot temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit. But you see, the Earth is in the middle, middle between Mars and Venus. But Venus should not be so hot. It should be warm, but not 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So there are many theories, and that's why NASA is going to Venus, to figure out why Venus is this oddball planet, this evil twin of the planet Earth that is so hot, much hotter than it should be. So part of that equation, Doctor, could Venus have looked like Earth, have oceans and, and maybe not as, uh, you know, such a hellish, unforgiving, as we're showing on the TV, uh, uh, conditions? Could it one time have been more like Earth? That's right. There's some hope that oceans once upon a time existed on Venus. But, you know, the atmosphere is almost mm. pure carbon dioxide. It is very close to the sun. So some people think that, well, maybe it's a runaway greenhouse effect because you have all the ingredients of the greenhouse effect on Venus. But we don't know for sure. That's why we have to send probes. Now, we'll use radar. Radar to bounce messages off the surface of Venus so that we can get computer simulations of the surface features of Venus. Venus is covered by clouds. It can, the surface cannot be seen from the Earth, but using radar echoes, we can then map the surface of Venus. Fascinating stuff, but it's safe to say we won't be sending any astronauts to the surface of Venus like we are possibly with Mars. We're out of time, but Dr. Michio Kaku, fantastic stuff. Always fascinating. Thank you for joining us this evening. We do appreciate it.